Hi, this is an overview, just very, very basic, comparing acids and bases. Um, some characteristics that you need to know about each. So an acid, uh, the hydrogen concentration is greater than the hydroxide concentration. That is what makes the pH less than seven. Uh, for a base, the hydroxide is greater than the hydrogen. And I want you to notice, it doesn't mean that you just have one or the other, that you go, oh, an acid has hydrogen, the base has hydroxide. No, it's a comparison of the amounts. And then really, really special, uh, remember that if we have the hydrogen equal to the hydroxide concentration, that is the pH of seven, and that is neutral. That is neutral. Um, acids are sour, and most foods are actually acidic. There are a few exceptions to that, uh, but most foods are acidic. Bases, on the other hand, are bitter. Um, I remember being little and swearing and my mom washing my mouth out with soap, didn't swear anymore, um, but that soap, bitter. <laughs> um, cleaning supplies, majority of our cleaning supplies are going to be bases, a pH greater than seven. Now, if you're using a universal indicator, um, it's going to be red. Now, orange and yellow are also um, acidic, but red is the most acidic down at that pH of one. Um, purple and blue, those are going to be the colors that you see from universal, universal indicators for a base. Now, this is what students sometimes don't know. They know that um, acids are really dangerous. Guess what? Bases are equally dangerous. Um, it's just it takes them a little bit longer um, to maybe start to sting. If I get acid on my hand, it will sting right away. It's almost like um, little um, pricks, little, uh, this little prickly feeling. Um, the base, very initially, it won't sting. It feels kind of slimy and slippery like soap, like soap or um, bleach. Feel bleach. Bleach is really slippery. Um, so it feels slippery, like, oh, that's interesting. And then your skin starts to peel off. Um, so they are equally corrosive. You have to have respect and be careful with both acids and bases. Um, this is interesting. When you add an acid to a metal, it produces gas. And that's a good thing to have memorized, that it will evolve hydrogen gas, that H2. Um, and then, of course, an acid has a pH less than 7, and a, um, a base has a pH greater than 7. Look at my playlist um, for acid-base equilibrium for lots and lots of videos, bringing all of this into mathematics if you need help with the math on pH. Okay, thank you. Have a wonderful day.